As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands. State, flag, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Grill Hall and are announced in the following order.
division. Right face. Section leaders, fall out and collect outer guards. Divisions. Counter. March. Front of the review stand, and we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command.
Division Commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Josh Jones, Recruit Training Command's Drill Division Officer. I would like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today you will see six divisions comprised of 371 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit positioned at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Recruit Alexis Rigby from Cedro Woolley, Washington. Let's give her a hand, folks. Performing today is the staff unit on their ninth week of training, as well as the state flags and the triple threat units on their sixth week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division 067, commanded by Petty Officer First Class Esteban Reyes Feliz. Petty Officer First Class Cherry de Leon. Petty Officer Second Class, Nayeli Corsino Agramonte. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Apprentice Ethan Moore from Odessa, Texas. Division 068. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Sidney Gutierrez. Petty Officer First Class, Carrillo May Miguel. Petty Officer First Class, Esfraín Adame. And their Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Olivia Aaron from Los Angeles, California. Division 069. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Tiffany Baker. Petty Officer First Class, Mario Reynoso Ramos. Petty Officer Second Class, Marquel Jordan. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Luis Otto from Nogales, Arizona. Division 070. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Eric Rao. Petty Officer First Class, Randall Truitt. Petty Officer First Class, Dakota Saunders. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Brian Knowles from Sacramento, California. Division 071. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer, Daniel Andrew. Petty Officer First Class, Jordan Mock. Petty Officer Second Class, Russell Love Mitchell. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Apprentice, Jimena Valenzuela Ruiz. From Dallas, Texas. 
Division 073. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Nicholas Mann. Petty Officer First Class Benjamin Page. Petty Officer First Class John McCormick. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Seaman Salim Adri from Montgomery Village, Maryland. On behalf of the commanding officer and staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these division commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, boatswain, and honor guard take their places for arrival honors. This time honor tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard. Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Service Training Command, arriving.
The guest may be seated. Good morning, Admiral! Honor guard stand by for inspection, sir! Will the guests please rise? Present our
Order. Art. Jacqueline Choi will offer this morning's invocation. Good morning. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you this morning. For it is a morning of celebration and great joy. It marks the beginning of a new chapter in the lives of the men and women in uniform who stand before us. Some come from families who were not sure what would become of them. Often parents and grandparents and loved ones appeal to only asking for guidance for their footsteps and change in life direction. Oh Lord, not only did you hear those prayers, but you answered. And your answer is marvelous, and we humbly say, thank you. As these sailors depart the gates of Recruit Training Command, please continue to lead and guide their life's journey. Pair them with great mentors and excellent leadership. Remind them of the life lessons that they learned in their homes and in this place, to put you first in all that they do, to give their best in every task set before them, to choose right over convenience, never to give up in the face of adversity, to stay connected to their loved ones and their beliefs, to choose their friends wisely, and to stay away from the wrong crowd. Eternal God, be present with us this morning in these moments of celebration. Be our honored guest here today. Thank you for all you have done. Thank you for what you will do. Allow these sailors to stay safe, be strong, and recovered and protected by you. In your mighty and wonderful name we do pray. Amen. At this point, the commanding officer will issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders put the base about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command.
Request permission to commence the review. Very well, commence the review. Aye, aye, sir.
and gentlemen, how about another round of applause for those outstanding performances? Good morning. I'm Commander Rick Jarko, the Executive Officer here at Recruit Training Command. On behalf of our Commanding Officer, Captain Ken Froberg, who's also watching online today, I'd like to welcome all our families and friends attending this recruit graduation and those watching live around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Rear Admiral Craig Matting, Commander, Naval Service Training Command, and our guest of honor, Master Chief Andy Hotchgraver, Command Master Chief of Naval Service Training Command. I would also like to acknowledge the staff from this week's fleet sponsor. Unmanned Undersea Vehicle Squadron 1 is sponsoring Division 067. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors from Navy commands around the world for valuable mentoring and motivation while serving here at Recruit Training Command. I would also like to take a moment to welcome our veterans here today and thank you for your dedicated service to our country. Would all of our veterans please stand so we can all give you a round of applause. take a moment to introduce you, the family and friends of our new sailors here today, and welcome you to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailor today and navigate this new journey together, we invite you to learn more about your resources here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet for Navy Boot Camp, Navy Family to learn more. The outstanding staff of Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, and smartly disciplined sailors, such as, the, such, as the, uh, such as those standing here today. These sailors before you have successfully completed 10 rigorous weeks of demanding recruit training, and they have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as a symbol of freedom. Today's graduates serve as the bedrock of our naval forces and will join other American sailors around the world to defend freedom and liberty against those who, who would threaten it. I can say with absolute pride and certainty that this training group is ready to graduate today. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 371 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Teamwork, attention to detail, and pride in accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas. Academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission area events. A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the battle flag in recognition of their performance. Division 0, 7, 1 has earned this honor today and we congratulate them on a job well done. week's individual awards, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Commander Jarko, and our guest of honor, Command Master Chief Hodgegraver.
For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Fireman Apprentice Jamie Hyde, Division 068, from Jessup, Pennsylvania, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Fireman Apprentice Hyde receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. and loyalty, Airman Apprentice Devin Marty, Division 071 from Sparta, Wisconsin, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Airman Apprentice Marty is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Stephen Apprentice, Alyssa Ramirez, Division 068 from El Paso, Texas, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipmate. Stephen Apprentice Ramirez is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor. Seaman Sidney Mitchell, Division 067 from Tampa, Florida, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Seaman Mitchell is presented with a commemorative plaque for the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Airman Wes Youngquist, Division 067 from Bowling Green, Kentucky, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Airman Youngquist is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Airman Apprentice Jimena Valenzuela Luis, Division 071 from Dallas, Texas, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places her at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. She is awarded a flag letter of commendation. 
Airman Apprentice Valenzuela Ruiz, the staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by the sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the distinct honor this morning of introducing our reviewing officer, Rear Admiral Craig T. Mattingly, Commander, Naval Service Training Command. A native of Austin, Kentucky, he is a graduate, a 1995 graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy and was designated as a Naval Flight Officer in 1997. He has served in several Maritime Patrol and Reconnaissance Force operational assignments throughout his career including a tour as Executive Officer and Commanding Officer of VP-9, Marine Corps Air Station, Kaneohe Bay, Hawaii. Rear Admiral Mattingly's major command tour was as Commander, Patrol and Reconnaissance Wing 11, Naval Air Station, Jacksonville, Florida. During his tenure as Commodore, Wing 11 supported global initiatives for geographic combatant commanders around the globe. Overseas, he served numerous tours to include Special Assistant Aide de Camp to the Commander, Naval Forces Europe and Africa Commander, Allied Joint Force Command, Naples, and N3 Operations Officer, Chief Staff Officer for Commander, Task Force 72 in Misawa, Japan. Additionally, he has served as Executive Assistant to the Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Operations, Plans, and Strategy. Prior to his current duties, he served as our Senior Military Advisor to the Secretary of the Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm Recruit Training Command welcome to Rear Admiral Madden. Well, good morning, everyone. It's such a pleasure to be in your presence. This is America. This before you is America. Those in front of you are wearing the cloth of our nation. This is America. Other nations look at America as the beacon of hope for freedom and democracy around the world. This, this is America. Thank you so much for that kind introduction, Rick. My mother would have been so proud. My father would have wondered who you were talking about. Good morning to the veterans. Good morning to the family and friends that are here today to witness the graduation of the 371 newest sailors in the United States Navy. It is a great privilege, again, to be here for this monumental event for these 371 individual sailors, these new sailors, into America's warfighting Navy, our Navy, the most powerful in the world. Before we talk about these women and men before us, I want to thank the family and the friends who are present in person and virtual. And to Skipper Froberg, you're in good hands here with the XO leading the charge. We miss your presence, but enjoy your time with your family. For the families, by showing up and taking time to be part of this ceremony, you're validating, you're validating those you love that you support their decision to serve in the United States Navy. By this unswerving support, you are playing a vital role in our Navy mission to deliver sustained and credible combat power to preserve the peace 
respond in crisis, and win decisively in war. Those who served or currently serve do so because of your love, your encouragement, and your support. To affirm your role, I want to share my personal connection to your experience. Almost 36 years ago, I was graduating boot camp. It was in Orlando, Florida. It was where I went to boot camp. This day is personal for me for two distinct reasons. One, I get to reflect back to my graduation from boot camp with my parents and family in the stands. I was so proud of what I was accomplishing, and I was elated that my family, my family, was with me on this big day. And I felt that I had done something beyond what I thought was possible. And two, I connect with the experience of each of these sailors before us. So much in store for each of you. What you are about to embark upon, what you will accomplish as an individual and collectively as a team, how you will shape our nation's future. I'm excited beyond words for each of you. So family and friends, over the past several weeks, you entrusted us with the safety of your loved ones. You supported your current recruit throughout their journey, and now they are sailors. One of those sailors that is graduating today, you heard today sing, Rayvon Owen. So proud of Rayvon. I, I, I'm thinking about recycling him for another 10 weeks, just so we can continue to hear his wonderful music. Family says no, it's ready for him to move on. But just it, another perfect example of what America is all about. And so now, your recruit completed boot camp and proudly stands before you to honor your involvement in their lives. Thank you for all you have done and will continue to do to be a positive support network for these sailors. I also want to recognize the tireless professionalism of the women and men of Recruit Training Command, or RTC. Over the last several weeks, you have never taken your eyes off the goal of getting these young women and men to this day ready to enter the fleet. For the family and friends, you have likely received letters from your sailors discussing some aspects of what their time here has been like. These days are long. The training is intense and difficult, but every step of the way, the recruit division commanders and instructors are right beside your loved one, building confidence, providing mentorship, and offering guidance. This process transforms recruits into the sailors who proudly stand before you. These are the sailors, these are the sailors, ready to join the fleet and operate as a team to protect our United States of America and defend our values and interests through actions guided by our core values of honor, of courage, and of commitment. Because of RTC, the Red Rovers, the instructors, these sailors before you are ready to meet the demands of our Navy. I want to take the time to thank the Red Ropers and the instructors. So please join me in a round of applause for all that they have done. Also during today's graduation, I want to take a moment to recognize someone who does not want recognition, but has had a profound impact on not only the RTC mission, but the Navy mission writ large. That someone is Miss Mary Blankenship. So she's been the events coordinator here at RTC since December of 2015. She also served her country wearing the cloth of our nation honorably for 27 years in uniform from E1 to 05. E1 to 05. Sailors, that means that she was one of you, and then she led you as a human resource officer, and then she wasn't done yet, and she came here to RTC to boot camp to be part of your continued journey. Throughout her service, she was dedicated to helping others. I talk about two things when I go out into high schools and ROTC units and colleges and 
universities and it's care and competency. Care is what Mary does. Competency, she has the highest levels of competency in everything she touches. Since she has came aboard RTC in December 15, she has coordinated 432 recruit graduation ceremonies, honoring more than 400,000 recruits and their families. And their families were more than a million in attendance. 85,000 phone calls, 400 senior level officer engagements to serve as reviewing officers for these ceremonies. Mary, these numbers are staggering, but even more astounding is the level of care you have imparted to each, each of these sailors. We are better, we are better for having served with you. And while every recruit might not know you by name, all 400,000 have felt your impact. Mary, thank you for all you have done, and I wish you nothing but the best in all future endeavors. We will miss you. Thank you. Now for the stars of the show, the Navy's newest sailors, you have done something very special, and today is your day. Today you have become part of a legacy that goes back to the founding of our nation's Navy 248 years ago. You are now a part of a naval force that has protected our nation throughout centuries by operating around the world. We are the nation's away game. Boot camp has demanded more from you than you might have thought possible. Like all the sailors that have gone before you, you have met every challenge. We see it in your performance. You pass crucible events, such as battle stations, and have proven yourselves worthy of wearing the uniform that symbolizes freedom, professionalism, and democracy across the world. Wear the cloth of our nation with pride. Today, and every day going forward. You made a choice. You made a choice to serve our nation. You chose to be part of something bigger than yourself. You chose to be sailors. Congratulations. Today is a day to celebrate your accomplishments at boot camp and reflect on and be excited for your future. You're about to embark on a challenging yet rewarding adventure. You will serve on ships, on submarines, in squadrons, in units around the world. You'll travel the world. You'll meet new people and friends. You will be busy, but do not forget to call your mom. This will, they will revel in your triumphs along with you and be there for you when you face challenges. Keep them involved, and your life and service will be richer for it. You are joining our Navy at an important time in history. We are counting on each of you. Our nation depends on a Navy that is ready to compete, fight, and win, and wherever and whenever that is needed. By graduating today, you are taking a, on a piece of that responsibility. As sailors, you are the most important asset we have. Admiral Paparo, commander of Pacific Fleet, a few months ago was interviewed during an at-sea operation in the South China Sea by CNN. And the question was asked to him, is it your hope that we, we will defend the adversary if they decide to invade a nation that is democracy? And he looked at her and he said, it is not my hope, it is my duty. It is my duty. Sailors, it is our duty to protect democracy and freedom. Continue to train hard to be that competitive war finding advantage. Be proud to call yourself a sailor. You have earned not only my respect, but the respect and appreciation of all Americans, especially those before you at this moment. I will leave you with one final thought, something a great mentor of mine shared with me years ago, and I strive to live by every day, and that is this. 
Get up early every single day. Work hard and do not go to bed at night until you are smarter than when you woke up and you have made your world a better place. Bravo Zulu, shipmates. Well done, and let me be the first to say, welcome aboard. Thank you. receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Commander Jarko. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty. Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders fall out and retrieve outer garments.
Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate eight toward the train station parking lot. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this, Liberty Call, Liberty Call, fall out!